see they've got the Boris bikes in Miami as well. What a great idea. You can just rent out a bike. Great idea. International Airport now I've got to try and find the exit so I can get to the coach. Where do I get the taxi? smaller than this it's quite nice you've got a nice little use the TV up here pretty cool and the view is not too bad actually it's out to sort of Miami and if you go around here you've got the Atlantic Ocean and the beach for the James Bond film Goldfinger at the beginning into Miami. We're walking along Collins Avenue. Okay, it's Saturday. I'm doing a half day trip around Miami doing a complete tourist trap and then a little mini cruise around the bay. Finally on the bus. I got on the wrong bus at the hotel bar to uh, later on. What an idiot. <laughs> but hey, all good, we're here. I say tree tree. Cable, traffic light and bridge. Put your head down. You don't want to get hit by one of these low branches. 
It's going to be windy, so hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Now, coming up on your left side, this beautiful big hotel is called the Lowe's Hotel. The Lowe's Hotel, a lot of celebrity chefs stays at this hotel where we have the Food and Wine Festival here in Miami Beach. Now we're in the most popular street in the world, Ocean Drive. on top of the window. You see a platform sticking out, right? That platform sticking out on top of the window. They're, they're called eyebrows. They look funny, but they were very, very important here in Miami Beach. She died right here at the steps of the hotel, I mean, of his mansion, 18 years ago by his lover. Now, let's get back to the eyebrows on top of the window. Now, those may look funny, but they, but they were very important back in the early 20th century. You see, Miami Beach did not have air conditioning. At a certain time of the day when the sun is out and when the shadow hits the window from the eyebrows, you open the window and make the apartment 20 degrees cooler. Air conditioning did not come to Miami Beach until 1945. Tree, tree, bala tree, tree, put your hand down. I told you, you tell you, tell us. Soccer player from England, David Beckham. Ain't much going on today. It's going to go out and get something to eat, and then hopefully do a Facebook Live a little later on. Mighty big bones here. This is on the waterfront. Collins Avenue. Good morning. It's a lovely, lovely morning. Um, we're heading out uh, and going to the Everglades. I also got to do a combo tour of a tour that I did on Saturday because I forgot to cancel and realised I'd done that tour before. This is a slightly different one, but I still got to do some of the same activities again. So, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, um, let's go along for the ride. Let's go. Lovely morning. The trolley bus. Just waiting for the uh, double decker company. So the same one we had on Saturday. So if the Everglades is first, I'm just going to do that trip and then try and get my money back by a Viator. Because I don't want to do the other two bits as I only did it on Saturday. show just on demand do they so yeah we're very good
and Lincoln Road Mall. See, they've got the forest bikes in Miami as well. What a great idea. And just rent out a bike. Great idea. The only thing I find quite bizarre with America, and I'm not an engineer, but in England, I don't know how these will get through a pack test. American plugs are appalling. I mean, look at look at that. And the whole socket is just really shoddy. You know, that's a plug. <laughs> that's a plug, guys. That's a plug. We've got, but when you put it in the adapter, you think it's going to blow up or something. It's been fun. I'm sure we'll return. So a little bit of waiting and then head out to the airport. Okay, we're done. Sorted, so it's not a problem. Um, you know, I feel a bit foolish, but hey, we do. Uh, so, yeah, just waiting to get back to the airport. About an hour and a half to kill. So, just chilling on the computer and taking advantage of the Wi Fi here. And, uh, yeah.